Hi everyone, my name is Kyle, your average investor. And in this video, we're gonna go over the current market situation, what's the worst case scenario that the market could get to, and how you should invest in this current market situation. With the market going up 7% in one day, down 10% the next day, investors are experiencing major emotional roller coaster ride. Now, normally, this emotional roller coaster only happens to day traders, since they normally tend to trade much more volatile stock than the overall market. And this emotional roller coaster right here is the main reason why 90% of day traders lose. Trust me, I used to experience them all the time. That's why I believe this recent market have shaken out a lot of long term investors. With the market being this volatile, investors are experiencing two major emotion and both of them are fear. The first fear is FUD. Fear of uncertainty and doubt. Am I holding the right stock? Why everything I buy keep dropping? The situation probably gonna get much worse. Should I sell now and get back in later? The second fear is fear of missing out. Google just went up by 5%. I better get back in before it bounces. Yes, though too many emotion can it cause long-term investor to have short-minded. In my opinion, as a long-term investor, you should not be too optimistic where you think this is it, this is the bottom and go all in here because you believe the market will recover in a short amount of time. But also not super pessimist where you believe that the market will never recover from this. That will cause you never to pull a trigger to invest in the market. For me, I consider myself right in the middle. I do open up my mind to listen to both sides of the extreme to see what they have to say and what their argument is. This way I can prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Now there's a lot of finance YouTubers believe that this is just a short term thing. When the coronavirus go away, we can bounce right back up to the all time high within a couple months. Now I do not believe that will be the case and I do not want beginner investor to have fault expectation where they start to go all in now and expect recovery within a couple months. In my opinion, the coronavirus is only one domino. After that, a lot of people are gonna get laid off, house gonna be on foreclosure, and a lot of business gonna be closed. The government basically make all retail business closed, including mine, except for pharmacy and supermarket. And the fact is, I live in America where 78% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck, and 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 in savings. So with this couple months shut down, I believe the situation could be much worse, and that is not talking about we may get shut down up to 18 months. So yeah, in my honest opinion, I do not believe this will be like a V-shaped recovery, like how most other finance YouTubers say. Now I could be completely wrong and the market can bounce right back up to all time high from here, but still I do not want beginner investor to have fall expectation. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now let's take a look at the worst case scenario, which did happen in the Great Depression in 1929 and 1930. Now I'm not saying we gonna get there, but this is just a worst case and for entertainment purposes. During October to November of 1929, within four weeks, the market dropped more than 30%, which is pretty similar to the situation that we in now. As you can see, each candle right here represent one week, and within four weeks, we drop more than 30%. Within five weeks during October and November of 1929, the market dropped more than 44%. Even though the market was super volatile during those five weeks in 1929, the market did not find its bottom until three years later, in June 1932. From the all-time high to the very bottom is the 86% loss. Now, 86% drawdown may not sound a lot. Okay, it does. Let's say the stock is $100. It went down by 40%. You think it's the bargain price, so you get in. At the price of $60. From 60 down to 14%, that is still 76% drawdown from 60. And most people do not expect that. And at that $18 price, which is a 40% pullback from the all time high in 1929, market did not break out that level until 21 years later, which is the end of 1950. It is pretty scary to think about that situation that actually happened in the US. Do you think most people live in those times? expected that? Probably not. I don't expect our situation to be that bad, but I just want to throw out the worst situation that could happen. So yeah, you probably heard this a lot. Only invest with the money you do not need for the next 10 to 20 years. There is a reason why you keep hearing that a lot. Okay, let's talk about how you should invest in this current market situation as a long-term investor. First, I just want to mention, if you live in the United States, the first thing you should invest on is your health insurance. Now, honestly, before this coronavirus thing, I do not have health insurance for probably two years now. Probably not a smart idea. But recently, just a couple days ago, I did get health insurance just in case I accidentally caught it. Because if I accidentally caught this and I do need to go to hospital, at least I can rely on my insurance to cover it for me because we all know how expensive spending a day in hospital is. Also, the first thing you should do before you invest in the market is to put aside some emergency money. Because just like me, I did not expect this. And right now, I just recently had to shut down my businesses. And right now, I'm living 
enough my emergency fund. So yeah, it's always good to have some emergency fund to prepare for the worst. After you got your emergency fund, the best way to invest during this market condition for a beginner is to invest in the ETF. Unless you know how to do research on the company on your own, I would not suggest you to individually picking stock because honestly, during this kind of time, the market actually tend to outperform individual stock. As you can see recently, the market only pulled back around 30%, but there are a ton of stock that pulled back 40 to 50%. So yeah, I would not suggest you to pick individual stock if you do not know what you're actually doing. After that, what you need to do is to set an automatic deposit into your broker account to make sure you consistently invest every weekly or monthly. This amount that you deposit in the broker account, make sure that money you would not need to touch for the next 10 to 20 years. If you consistently invest the same amount for the next 20 year, even if the market would not reach all time high for the next 20 year, you still can come out way ahead. Also by doing this will eliminate the emotional roller coaster that I talk about in beginning of the video. Because it doesn't matter if the stock go up or down, you can consistently invest the same amount. You will not have the anxiety to try to time the market. Also this is the money that you will not need for next 10 to 20 years. So you do not have to consistently check up on the market to see how it's doing. I honestly believe by doing that you will come out way ahead of most investor in this market. Now all this is only for entertainment purposes, not a financial advice. That is all the information I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching until the end. If you can click the like button, click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. Again, my name is Kyle, your average investor, and you guys have a blessed day.